What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadget Beard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets and accessories for you. And on today's video we're going to take the T-Mobile variant OnePlus 7 Pro and rebrand it into the international version so we can get all the updates when OnePlus releases them to the public and we don't have to be behind on updates like we are currently are on the T-Mobile variant. We don't have all the updates to the cameras, so we're a little behind on those updates and the camera is suffering because we don't have those updates. So, right off the bat, there's a couple things you wanna do. You want to enable USB debugging, so you have to go to settings. Um, I just did mine right now. Let's, let me go ahead and agree. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. So what you have to do is go to settings. You have to go down to about phone where it says built number. You're supposed to click it a couple times. It's gonna say congratulations, you are now a developer. Uh, you're gonna back out of there, go into system settings. You're gonna see developer options. Go into that menu and then scroll down. You'll see USB debugging and then enable USB debugging there. Once that is done, you want to power off your device, hold the volume rocker up and down at the same time while it's off, plug it into the device, and I'm gonna show you how to do this thing on the on the computer, and then from there we'll move on from there because uh, it took me a couple of tries, but I got it. So right off the bat, we're, we are, Let's move on to the computer real quick. So this is the thread right here. This is the step by step, everything you need to do. So right here are the files you need. So if you click on them, it's gonna give you this guacamole file here, the drivers and the tool patch here. You want to download all three of these files and extract them into one single folder like I did. See, this is the folder right here, OnePlus 7 rebranding. All those files are extracted here. Once I did that, I ran this MS, MSN download tool here, clicked on it, boom. This opened, right? You have to uncheck this box here. You uncheck this box, then you power off the device, completely power it off. While it's completely powered off, you're holding the volume up and down. Boom, hold it, plug it in. This is gonna say connected right here. Then you're gonna hit start and let us do its thing. It's gonna uh, take about five minutes or less. It's gonna do its, its, its magic and it's gonna rebrand your phone into a international version instead of having the T-Mobile variant. So let me run through this quick setup here so I can show you that it actually did work. So I'm super excited about this update, uh, well not the update, about this rebranding because the camera on the T-Mobile variant is suffering because it's not getting all the timely updates that OnePlus is putting out there and we are stuck behind with a crappier version of the camera app that does not take great stills. And that's one of the weakest points I think that the OnePlus 7 has, the OnePlus 7 Pro has currently. And I think by OnePlus releasing those updates, it, it is making the camera a little bit better and it's making the camera and the phone a little bit tolerable for me. I'm absolutely loving this phone. Like I said, that is the only weakness I can find on this phone is the cameras. All right, so this thing just rebooted. Um, let's go ahead and go into downloads. Boom, new update there. Uh, Let's get out of here. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to enable developer settings here. So you can see the system update is the OnePlus. See, we can get that to focus here. It is the OnePlus Oxygen OS system update. It's not the T-Mobile one. The T-Mobile one don't look like that when you update. So it, it it's giving me the... Oh, OS 9.57 update. It is a camera, improve overall contrast, color performance, improve white balance consistency, triple camera, improve accuracy, stability of auto focus. There's a bunch of uh, 
bugs here that that's going to take care of. Uh, but let me show you how to enable the developer option. So you are going to go to about phone. You're going to see the build number right there. Let's focus on this. You can see the build number right there. Boom, you're going to tap it a couple times. It says, I am now a developer. We're going to back out, go to systems. You're going to see the developer option right there. Click on there. Now you're going to go down and then you're going to see USB debugging right there enable that boom so once you did that you can go ahead and run this program here make sure like i said you go to the xda forums make sure you follow these directions right there it's pretty simple it's almost idiot proof you if you do what exactly what it says it says you to do you cannot mess this up Make sure you enable USB debugging because if you don't, you're, it's not going to rebrand your phone. Number two, download all the necessary files. So once you download all these necessary files right here, all these three, export them, export them to a single file location, which is here. I created a file. It says OnePlus Pro rebranding. Put all those files here. I ran this tool here. Blam. Clicked on that. This opened. I unchecked this SHA-256. I powered off the device. Held the volume rocker up and down at the same time for five seconds. Plugged the device in. Nothing happens to the phone, but you'll see it here in, in this MSM uh, download tool. It'll say connected, and then it'll give you the option to start. Hit start and let us do his thing and then you, voila, you're there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Stay tuned. I am going to do a uh, another video how to rebrand back to the T-Mobile variant just in case you need to. Uh, if you didn't pay your phone out fully or something like that, I don't know why would you want to rebrand back to T-Mobile. But if you do... There is a video for that coming. Thanks for watching. Peace.